In this video, I will talk about the two new commands. Uh, one of them is, uh, is um, shaft and groove that you know the same command in the salt works called as the revolve and revolve card. And the next thing at the end, we are going over the two other options that you have for the uh, on the size work and also in the Katia and they are mirror and the pattern. So I will talk about these two commands uh, after I go over the uh, revolve and revolve cut or the shaft and groove. Okay. Uh, to start with the uh, creating the shaft, you need to uh, know that you need to have uh, one cross section and one uh, axis to create your uh, profile. So the difference between the shaft and the pad is that for the pad you have uh, your uh, the whole profile and then you uh, extrude it uh, in the direction normal to your profile or the lines that you create in your um, that is perpendicular to your um, profile but inside the shaft you need to create your cross section and the cross section and axis that you want to create uh, the cross section and revolve it around that uh, uh, axis. They should have be at the same uh, plane. So, for example, if I start creating the um, object or cross section in uh, this uh, Y Z plane, my axis should be inside the same uh, plane too. So I just go select the X Y plane, then I create a new uh, profile, and let's say that. Uh, this is my profile and then I close my profile with the line so I just select the line here oh before that let me uh, move this line a little here then I click the lines and I contact these two lines together so I create a close profile here so this is my close profile and then I create another axis here that uh, let's say that this is my axis and I make it as a construction because I just want to use it as a axis I don't want to be part of my uh, object okay so now I have the cross section of my um, profile and also the axis that I want to um, revolve or shaft this uh, object or this profile around that axis uh, to show to uh, to see the axis inside my uh, screen or my working area I just need to click on the sketch go to the object and add the construction geometry so now you can see that the software shows the um, my access uh, inside uh, uh, my screen. Uh, to create the object, I click on the uh, shaft, and you can see that you have two options. You have the um, one creating the shaft or revolve with the full body, and the other one is the scene body. So for the start, I select the uh, full body shaft, and then I select my profile. I can either come here and select my sketch so this is the profile that I want to create and I think that my profile is open so if I go back to profile let me go here then if I go to analyze and if I analyze my object it should be no it's closed so so my profile is okay I select my sketch and then for the axis uh, for the start I select the same um, line that I have and it's part of my um, part of my uh, profile so if I click the preview now I created my uh, uh, full body so I created the crest cross section uh, of the one the this profile, this shape, and then I revolve it around uh, the axis that I selected. So if I go to the view, to 
preview and I click the so you can see that uh, I have the full material between the, uh, the line of where my axis and also the outside of my uh, profile here. Okay. Okay. So now let's say that uh, in a stuff selecting uh, the object or the axis that is part of your uh, profile you select uh, something uh, another axis so example if I select this one and then uh, if I click the cross section this time you can see that uh, in this time my profile or my cross section revolve around the axis that I had and uh, the middle of my object is uh, hollow so I created the, uh, the full body that the inside is hollow and is inside the angle because the line that I created is in the angle compared to the my profile shape. So this uh, profile is, so if I go and go to the edit again, you can see that I put this um, line, this uh, uh, axis in the angle. You can also uh, select the, one of the main axes that you have in your, uh, uh, in your working area, X, Y, or Z. You cannot select the, uh, the, y -ax the X axis because it is not in the uh, contact with your object. So if I go and select the uh, different axis here, so I go to the frame, if I select the X axis, it gives me the um, uh, error because uh, the axis and, and my profile uh, they are not uh, uh, parallel so you can see that they are in the this is the axis and this is my profile and they are in the uh, 90 degree uh, angle so the software cannot calculate that so if I go select the y-axis you have the same problem too so as you can see the y-axis and uh, this profile, uh, they are not parallel. But if I select the z-axis, now if I click the preview, now I have my objects. So here, if I show you, now you can see that the hole that I have at the middle is the same, the, the, the circle in the top and the bottom is the same because this line almost a straight line. So if I turn off the construction, the, the section view, you can see that the circle in the top and the circle in the bottom, they are almost the same because this line that I have here is a straight line. Um, it's a parallel to uh, my axis that I created my uh, cut, and I created my um, revolve. So I go to the shaft again and I just select the edit this one, I select my uh, construction line and you can see the difference, let me zoom out so if I zoom out here you can see the difference between the, the, the this axis, you can see this is profile and now it's a little rotated and the bottom part is not the, the this line is not um, parallel to my uh, XY plane and it's in the angle with that line because this uh, um, axis is in the angle. The next thing is that for the um, uh, revolve you can or for the shaft you can define the, the amount of the uh, profile you want to create. So instead of the full shape you can uh, create only the half of it. The 100 is 80 degree. It's only create the um, uh, half of the profile that uh, you want. So you can see that your cross section only um, rotate around this axis for 180 or I can make it as a 90 degree, uh, 90. So you can create a different amount of the object that you want. And also you can have the second angle. So the first angle goes uh, counterclockwise and the second angle can go clockwise. So if I put the uh, 30 degree here so you can see that the object goes to the 
uh, clockwise and I get the profile clockwise from my profile. So the main object for the, uh, this shaft is you need to know the cross section of your uh, object full body that you want to create and also you need to uh, have the axis that you want to um, create the shaft or revolve around uh, that line. Uh, the difference, the next one is um, you have the first one, you have the full um, full object, full uh, revolve, and it means that uh, all the material inside, you have the material inside all of the area inside your closed object. So this is the, your profile and everything inside, you have a material for that. But if you select the uh, thin uh, feature, you get only the thickness that you want from the up profile that you created. For example, if you uh, put the five millimeter, as you can see, I get the five millimeter thickness around the um, uh, profile that I created. So instead of the, let's make it 180, so you can see the other side of the object too. So. Uh, in of the full material, having the full material inside the, uh, this profile, you have a hollow uh, shape at the end. So if I click OK, now I have a hollow profile uh, at the end. So let me hide this axis too. So, um, OK, now I hide all of these axes. I can use it later if I want. And now let's say that um, uh, you uh, Instead of creating a closed profile, you have an open profile. So I select the same plane again, and I go and the essential, and then I create another object or another um, open profile. So this time, for example, let's say that this is my open profile okay so now I go out and then I select my open profile and I select the shaft uh, here as you can see that uh, I select the for example let's say that I want to uh, make it around the z-axis and then if I put the 180 to show you the preview so the file software give me the uh, problem because uh, the object that I have is not close profile so uh, it cannot create the uh, full object uh, with the so it cannot create the full object uh, with the open profile so the only option that you have here is using the sim feature so if you select the sim feature then software can easily uh, create the profile for you so the only option that you have for an open profile is using the scene shaft. In that way, you can create your uh, final product. So, but if you select the uh, shaft or uh, in of the scene shaft, if you select the, uh, the classic uh, shaft, then it, the software give you error because it cannot uh, create the object for you. Okay, the next command that uh, you usually uh, you can use is the group. So the difference between the shaft is for the shaft you create the object, but for the group you need to have a base and then you remove the material uh, from your object. Okay, so let me rename this one to the, go to the properties. I rename this one to uh, shaft then I save it the next thing is that if you want to save it the, the file that you created in your uh, computer or in your drive you go to the export and then uh, 
you have options to save your file either in your disk drive or inside your 3D drive. So I select the 3D XML with the authoring or you have a different options. You can select the, for example, the IGS that you can open in any different kind of the program. And let me see, do we have for the site work here? Okay, so we don't have for the site work. So you can save it as IGS or TTXML with the authoring. So I selected the place that I want to save, for example, somewhere in my uh, picture. And then the name, I put all of this uh, with configuration and everything and save it in my computer. And then you can upload it in the uh, web campus or uh, send it as an email. The next option is that you can save it inside uh, your 3D drive. So one thing is that make sure that you are in the correct uh, space. So here I'm inside my space. I'm waiting for the software to save it. It takes a little time, depending on the, your internet uh, speed. So I guess that there is some error, so it cannot create the program. So give me some error to create the file. So let's put it, let's save it inside the, uh, my drive. So after this, I put in my 3D drive, same name. Okay, so I need to select the location of my file. So expand this. Select my drive and select OK. Uh, the first thing is that make sure you are at this correct uh, space. So uh, beside your name, you can see that there is a uh, your name here. It should be with your ME495 with your last name or any space that you have access to. You can change between the space. And then uh, you can export that to your drive too. So there's some error again. Let's try it again with this one. Okay, so if I uh, took some of them. Uh, features that I add and then I can save so if I export this I put all of the details so because of that it doesn't accept to creating the 3d XML so I change that one to my disk again now let's try to see can I save it in the computer to your not so just uh, untick the with configuration and then you are good to go okay now let's close this one and open a new file. So I just go to the compass, I go click on the compass and I select the part design again. And now it gives me a new, um, new file. Again, make sure that you are in the correct space here. So for this one, I change the name to the group. So to start making the group, I just select this one and create an object or some material to remove the object that I want. So I create, select the center line and then I put the dimension 200 millimeter, select this one, go to the dimension 200 millimeter. Then I create the extrude or pad for 100 millimeter. And this is the object that I have. 
uh, the next thing is that you need to know um, the material that you want to remove uh, with the groove should be uh, the cross section should be perpendicular to the uh, uh, surface that you want to uh, remove. For example, if I want to remove material from top face, I need to put the uh, uh, cross section in this plane. So I created my uh, so this was the plane that I created my uh, my object or my uh, uh, this uh, cube, and then I need to select the x, y, x, z, z, x plane to remove the material. So here, first I create my uh, cross section. So I want to remove the material from the top, and let's say that I want to remove half of the uh, circle. So I put the center of my circle on, uh, on the surface, and I create my object let's say that I want to be 25 millimeter in other words I have 12 millimeter uh, the, the radius of the 12 millimeter and this uh, arc I want to this is my cross section I want to remove it around this um, uh, x-axis so I go out so I have my profile and then I select I expand the command here and I select the groove and here I click on these three dots and from the uh, wireframe I select the x-axis. Now you can see that uh, because I put my um, this uh, cube, I created the, I put the center of this cube at the origin. Now the profile that I create and the card is um, going uh, symmetry around my object. So uh, if you move your your um, profile or your cube off center, you need to make sure that you create the line that pass through the center of your object. If you want to be, um, uh, for example, this uh, card or groove be at the center of your object. Now let's say that um, from the back, I want to create, uh, I want to cut the different type of the, I want to remove a different type of the cross section. So. Again, I need to select the same uh, perpendicular plane, then go to the essential, select the um, sketch, and this time let's say that I want to create the ellipse. So for ellipse, I select, let's say that um, this is my this is the object that I want. I just want to, okay, move it a little down. Okay, so let's say that I want to uh, cut uh, this cross section that is half of my ellipse uh, from my object. I just uh, create that profile. Then I groove it and again, I click here. Then from wireframe, I select my X axis. and click OK. So now if I go to the uh, preview and I select the uh, cross section, you can see that uh, I have uh, this profile removed from uh, uh, my uh, full body here. Uh, so if you go back to your um, groove and change the property from the full groove to the scene again is the same process as uh, your uh, your path or uh, as a shaft that you can define instead of removing all the uh, cross section you can just uh, take the material off according to the thickness that you define from your profile then if I click OK here now you can see that uh, the only, so you can see if I zoom in here, so you can see that the uh, only material removed is the thickness of the 5 millimeter from the 
um, edge of my profile. So this is my profile that I created. Then I have the five millimeter inside inward uh, to the center. And then this is the extra material that remain for, for your part. So this extra material is part of your cube. So this is the extra material that you left when you create the groove as a scene. Let me turn this one off and go to the model, come back to this uh, groove, go to the definition and edit. And the next thing is that um, uh, you, key, you can um, uh, have the, the thickness that you want to remove in a sort of whole uh, five limit go inside, you can define as a neutral fiber. So if you do that, uh, your removal is um, two and a half millimeter outward and two and a half millimeter inward from your profile that you created. So it put the, uh, the profile that you put here, this uh, uh, ellipse, as a neutral line and it create the half of the um, thickness outward and half of the thickness inward. And you can see that uh, your thickness too is disabled. So you can only get the, it create the symmetry uh, around this uh, profile. Or you can define the thickness in the other direction uh, with, the, with the thickness number two. The next thing is that you can uh, define the angle. So instead of the 360, you can have, so let me go to the full groove and instead of the 360, let's say I have a 90 degree groove in one direction and then um, I have uh, another option to create the groove with the angle in the second direction. For example, let's put the 60 degree in the second direction, so it go counterclockwise uh, in this direction. So I create this groove, so I have a 90 degree in one side and um, a 60 degree in the other part. Uh, you can also define the, uh, in instead of the angle, you can define your groove with the, uh, another options. For example, if you have another plane, so for example, if there's another plane or any other object that you have here, you can say that you groove once to start from this location that you put your um, object or profile to the that plane. So there's another object here or any other uh, uh, shape here. You can say that you just want to stop this groove up to uh, that surface. You can do the same for the plane tool. If you have an auxiliary plane, you can say that you want to have a groove from this location that you put the profile to that auxiliary plane. Or uh, this one is the angle that you just uh, remove the material from the uh, object from the uh, axis that you provided with the angle that uh, you define here. So here, if I go back to the uh, my sketch, so let me go to my sketch here. And then let me uh, create a construction line here. So for example, uh, let me put the, some construction with the angle here. Then if I go out, now I right click on my sketch, I go to the properties and then I select the um, add the construction and I need to delete this one. So I need to do that before I go I should delete this one but I should keep the profile. Okay, so now let's go to the show the construction line. Okay, so this is my profile and this is my construction line. Now I select my profile, I select the groove. This time I select for the axis, I select my construction. Okay, now let me show you what's happened here. So now um, uh, the profile that I created uh, cut through the uh, inside my object and if I go to the 
cutting section and I show you the inside so uh, right now uh, I get the cut that is go inside my object so if I just click here and I see that you can see that um, I have different type of the uh, cut here so let me move this object so this um, uh, ellipse goes inside my object and cut inside the material from my object so I have full ellipse inside the uh, part and I have half a ellipse in the edge here So you can see that when I'm rotating the um, the cut plane, cutting plane, it Move it along the uh, y axis so you can see that the cross section of my object is different because of the uh, type of the axis that I selected for the for the group. So for here I just put it back as x axis. So this is a um, very powerful tools that you can create the uh, you can uh, create the different object with the uh, shaft and you can remove the different uh, profiles uh, from the your uh, for your pads uh, with the groove and give you a lot of different options to create your uh, object or your part. And the next command that we want to go over today is. Uh, is related to the transform. So this part that you have here uh, is just um, repeating. It helps you to repeat the, um, the, the all of the commands or all of the shape that you created. So if you have a symmetry, for example, you can use the mirror uh, to uh, you can only create the a half of your object and then use the symmetry and mirror to make it the full body. So for example, here I select the mirror and the next thing it asks me is uh, for the mirror, mirror element. So if I select this uh, uh, object, you can see that uh, it uh, um, mirror all of the objects that I created uh, through the face that I selected. And um, uh, you can select the uh, in instead of the, the whole object, you can select only uh, one pad and then you select the mirror and then only the pad will be a uh, mirror. So you can, uh, you have the options that in instead of uh, creating uh, or mirroring all of objects, or you can only um, um, do it uh, one by one or you can click your the whole part and then um, you do it uh, through the face that you want to create. So here you can see that you can easily uh, mirror your part and create the uh, full object that you have. So here uh, you have the symmetry, all of the same thing is a pattern and you can easily um, move them or pattern them, create a, a quarter of the object and then pattern all of the uh, materials uh, uh, through the axis that you want and create the full object here. One thing you need to notice that this mirror is um, uh, related to this uh, object that you created. So if I go and change anything uh, inside this um, uh, command that I have here, uh, then it will be mirrored and 
uh, goes to infecting all of the other part that is mirrored. So if I go to the uh, here, for example, let's for to group one, let's say that instead of the um, 160, 360, I make it uh, 180, and then all of my object is only 160, uh, 180 uh, group. So this is the uh, because all of the other part is uh, related to the uh, first part. The last command that I want to go over is inside the transform section and is uh, this pattern. So let me open the uh, new part. And let me close this one. And then I rename this to pattern to make it easier to search and find it when I want to open it. Okay, so now let's say that uh, I have, I selected this plane XY and then I create the, uh, the my rectangle that is the base that I want to remove some materials and then create the uh, create the pattern. So select the dimension for this one too. Then I pad the object for 100 meter. Okay. So this is my object, and let's say that I want to remove the same hole uh, inside this, uh, from this uh, box, and I want to have nine um, or 12 uh, different holes, the same holes uh, with the same size in the, uh, from the top plane. So I create one cut because all of them are the same. So for example, let's say that uh, this is my uh, hold so I just put the dimension 25 then I uh, define the location of this hole to the edge to this edge as a 25 and select the distance from the center to this edge to 25 too okay and now I go out and uh, create the my card and make it and make it full okay now let me make it feel normal to surface and I want to be normal to my view so let's say that I created this home and uh, I want to make the same hole I want to have the three hole in the top direction and uh, four hole in the down direction so total of the 12 hole inside this plate and to do that I just select my pocket or my uh, commands or my features that I want to create multiple of them and then I have options to select the regular pattern circular pattern or user pattern so we start with the regular and then we go and uh, look at the circular one so here you select your, the first thing is that you select your object that you want to create the pattern. Then you select the direction of the first one. Then you say that how many holes you want to create. And you have options to this, define the uh, distance between these holes, the center of these holes, by a spacing. For example, if I put the 50 millimeter, the distance between each hole is 50 millimeter. Or you can say that I have the, I want 
I know how many holes I have and I know the total length that I want to put then let's say that it's 150 and then it divides the software automatically divide the 150 by 3 and put the uh, distance between the um, these holes equal to uh, uh, 150 divided by uh, 3 minus 1 so you have the first hole and the two next holes that you have have an equal distance of the 75 the next thing is that you can put the spacing and length so the software automatically define the number of the instance so you say that the total number is um, for example 200 and the, the spacing you want to have is 25 and the software that define for you how many holes you can get there so I leave it here as an instance and or you can put it as an instance and on equal space then you can define each distance separately so you can say that the first hole be 25 second hole 50 the next one 25 again so you have options to define each hole individually so to make it simple i just put the uh, three holes by the equal spacing the next thing is that i select the direction and put the second direction and then i put the four holes here and then i put it now you can see that the software uh, selected the top uh, direction either you can change it from here or from this right if you click on this uh, arrow it changes the direction and then you can see that you get your pattern so you get all of your holes that is inside in the first direction and second direction of your uh, pattern so this is the one easiest way if you have the same object happen again uh, inside your uh, body you can easily create one object and then um, use the pattern to uh, distribute it inside your object one thing that you need to notice again this pattern is related to the object that you select so any change you apply inside your main object it will apply to all of the other uh, patterns so if here is an instance of the 50 I, I instead of 100 I put the 50 and then um, I get the uh, uh, half of the uh, half of the depth of the cut I have the back view so I need to go to the front to show you the hole so now all of the pattern they have the thickness of the 50 millimeter or the depth of the 50 um, so you need to notice if you don't want uh, any of this uh, object to be related to the first one you need to create the different pattern for all of them for example if the size of these holes are different from this row you need to create the different pattern in the top and different pattern in the other rows uh, here for example if i go if i expand this if i go to my size of the hole and make it as a, a 20 make it a smaller then you can see here all of the holes become a smaller so let me um, make this uh, a 50 so I want to show you the CPR pattern of it so this is the first pattern that I created so uh, I have the 50 millimeter uh, holes that is uh, have a pattern happening at the same distance uh, uh, you define inside your object now let's say that um, you want instead of the having the uh, that uh, in the rows you want to have a in the uh, circle pattern so let's say that I have one object here and for this one let's say I have a polygon so let's say that uh, this is my object and let me give it a dimension for this and make it 10 so it's a smaller size next thing is that just make sure that I use 
location location here place and setting this by meter and we have dimension by distance here create my class and it seems okay so now I have uh, let's make it uh, 100 so okay, dimension to 100 so easier to have view so let's click on this one I make it normal to the view so okay Okay, so now I have um, uh, my uh, pattern. I have the shape that I want to create the pattern. Then I want to make it a pattern around the axis that is normal to this uh, surface that you can see here is uh, in the Z direction. So if I go to the tab, so it's like a circular pattern. I select my object and then here, I go to the wireframe and I select the Z. I think I should select the Y axis. Z is not the perpendicular to not the right one. Oh, so uh, this one is the X axis. So uh, the X is uh, normal to my plane. Okay. So now you can put, uh, for example, a four and the distance between each one of them 45 degrees. So from first center to the second one is 45, you have the same. And that's according to the definition of the instance and the spacing. You can also define from the total. So you can say that four holes, uh, you want to distribute them on uh, 270 degrees. So and the software distributes the uh, four holes in the two seventy degrees and it equally uh, put the it automatically uh, create the uh, angle for you. So let's put this as less than and regular and I think it's forty five. Uh, the next thing is that you can define the number of the row that uh, you want to um, create the um, object. So uh, if you want to, uh, because it's a circular right now, it's everything is the um, same. I just show you the difference for these two in the uh, re rectangular pattern, because you can see that what is the, uh, the effect of this uh, degree, or so if I put the 15 here, it doesn't, uh, change a lot so you have the 15 degree in one direction and you have a um, for this side 45 degree in the one direction and 40 degree 15 degree in the another side so if I rotate this one so from this point to the center of the other one is 45 and uh, the center goes 45 degree uh, sorry 15 degree inside two. So uh, the rotation angle is uh, rotation from the surface. Let me go to uh, for those two. So let me make it normal. Okay. So now, uh, let me make this pocket as 100, so it's easier to see it, and let me um, deactivate this one, so And also I can hide this one. So, oops, sorry. Let's hide all of the. 
so if I want to deactivate this whole tool, okay. Okay, now let me go and look at the next options here. So here you can see that uh, for the position, if I put the 15 degree, so right now the center are at the same line, so all of them are, uh, so the location of this uh, um, hole to the next center is at the uh, same line. But if I put the 15 degree here, you can see that the, the line, the center goes 15 degree down. So the rotation angle is 15 degree downward. And as you can see that all of the pattern is 15 degrees. So this is my um, uh, reference element that I selected and the line is 15 degree um, rotation here. The next thing is that you can define the, uh, the pattern that you want. For example, if you select this one, instead of the, uh, so if I select this one instead of the regular pattern, uh, you can define the, um, the second row that you have, this one. So you can see that the second row, um, all of the objects, 25 millimeter move inside. So if I put the preview, so instead of it be on the same location, it goes 25 degree inside. So the difference is that in the top one, when I apply the 15 degree, all of those holes rotate at 15 degree. But here, you can define the location of the um, the second row of the holes. You can see that according to this shape, uh, how many millimeters do you want to be inside. So all of these holes move three 25 millimeter inside. The difference between the first one and second one is that. Uh, for the second one, it's a remove. It moved the. Um, it moved the. Uh, it put this one as a uh, uh, your working uh, circle. So this is your working circle now. And the second row, you can see that the, the configuration. The second row is that 25 in the left and 25 in the right. So you get one extra holes um, in this uh, in the left side. So if you want to use the, these uh, features, you need to consider the first element that you create. So you can see that uh, for this one, you need to put your hole uh, here. So your base hole should be in a soft in the edge, should be here, and then you define uh, your pattern according to that. But here, because our um, uh, the original cut is at the edge, we need to select only the first one. So that's the only option that we have to cut the, the right shape here. So that's the difference between the, uh, the angle and also the different type of the pattern that you can apply uh, during this command. So if I put the 15 now here, now you can see that you have a four hole in the top, second row you have a three, and then you have a four at the end. But this one, because it's, they are out of your object, they are not they are not applied to your parts. So you need to have a material to remove object from them. Okay, so now I can put them back so I can activate this okay so now you can see that this is the final product that I uh, created with the pattern because all of them are uh, all of these holes they have the same properties um, then I, uh, I was able to create only one card and uh, use the um, uh, use the pattern uh, to uh, create the objects that I want. Also you can notice that here one of the so if I rotate it a little here you can see that this location I have uh, both the cut from my pattern of the circle and also the cut from this this hexagonal that I created the cut. So both of them are at the same and uh, because the dimension of this one is bigger than the the circle, then I get the um, 
uh, hexagonal here. So if I go to this uh, sketch and make it bigger circle, and then this one, in a soft this shape, it can become the circle. So and this of 25 if I'm 20 okay 25 now you can see that in the stuff having hexagonal I get the sequel cut and again you can save it and you can export it and uh, send it uh, in your uh, you can export in your computer or in your drive then um, you can attach it to the email address if you want.